if you work with a graphic designer or if you know a graphic designer or if you are a graphic designer, you might agree with the observation I've made over many years. And this is like, I don't know, 35 years of working with designers. In general, they're not all that great with words. Don't flame me, okay? I said in general. Many of my best friends are graphic designers, and they agree with this. They see it. Designers don't always know where the comma goes or how to avoid a run-on sentence or uh, the right form of there. And that's cool because they do what they do and I do what I do and, and everything works out in the end. However, my guest today, Stephanie D'Souza, is the exception to the rule. Stephanie is... A talented designer. She is uh, a great branding professional. And beyond that, she is a really skilled writer. She's a good writer and uh, a great editor and proofreader. I'm jealous. I wish I had her combination of skills. And here is what happened when I asked Stephanie one quick question. Yeah. Okay. So, um, we're just going to jump right in. Okay. Here's the question. Stephanie D'Souza. How do you stay inspired? Wow, what a great question. There's so many different ways. I think keeping an open mind is one. So when you go out into the world and do different things, or even just regular things, if you're open and you're, you're staying present, then you allow yourself to take in inspiration from anything and anywhere. So it could be um, a product display in a coffee shop, or it could be from nature, um, listening to your own thoughts, or quieting your thoughts so that you're open to listen to. I like to kind of like just reset through nature, like going hiking and doing outside things. So when you spend so much time in front of a lot of stimulation, in front of a screen all day and you're sitting and then your body doesn't actually, is not really tired, but your mind is tired. And so like, then right. you need to get, yeah. So then like once those yeah. two kind of balance out, then I feel like inspiration, you know, can, can come from, from anywhere. I just have like an inspiration folder um, sometimes it's just saved in my external hard drive. And so oh, if I just real? see, yeah, like, so if I, or there's one in my phone too, like I'll just take screenshots like, oh, okay, I really like this ad that's on, it, I showed up on Instagram stories and it's just an ad and I just like the way like, wow, the colors look really good on my screen and I like the font choice and I didn't know that you could go that small and have it still be legible, <laughs> you know, like that kind of stuff. That's and awesome. I'll take a screenshot of it and I'll save it just, just to, you know, just kind of commits it to memory too. So, so it's nice to go back and when I, when I feel uninspired to go through and just look at those things. I remember getting stumped on an airport project and I just started flipping through a communication arts magazine. And, um, and then I went back to my, and then I was like, wow, okay, maybe I'll just do, you know, like I really like this layout or I like the way that they used, um, you know, this, like this two color ad or something. And then I just kind of like, pull some design inspiration or the way that they would use some angles in a, in a design. I'm like, okay, you know, like, let me see what I can do and how I can apply those principles to the project that I'm working on. Your idea of taking screenshots, like I take notes all the time. Like for one thing, I'm always making notes of what I overhear people say. Yeah. Like conversations in, a, in an airport, in a coffee shop. Like there are little snippets of conversation that can be, fascinating sometimes so yeah I, I love that I remember doing an exercise in creative writing class where we were supposed to go out on campus and just park yourself in like a public area where there are other people around you and just take notes on um, how people speak and kind of like transcribe so that you get an idea as to like how you should use that in your creative writing and, and what yeah. dialogue actually sounds like so it doesn't sound so scripted so it sounds more real. That is a great practice. It's a great exercise and, and one I've done for a long time. Just listen. 
pay attention and take notes when you hear people talking, whether it's on paper. I personally carry a notebook with me most of the time, a little pocket notebook uh, in your phone, on your laptop, your iPad, whatever, in your head, make a mental note, but pay attention to how people talk and then keep that in mind when you're writing for other people. I didn't really intend for this to turn into a writing lesson, but here we are. Um, a lot of times in business writing, people tend to get real stilted and they try to be formal. And sometimes there's a need for that. But in general, just be conversational. And if you pay attention to the way people talk, uh, it, it will help. It'll help you in that, uh, in that effort. I almost said in that endeavor, but no, because again, I wouldn't normally say that. So why would I say it on here? If you like what I'm doing here, please subscribe, tell a friend about it, send the link to somebody, one person. That won't kill you. Send the link to one person. That would be great. Until next time, keep it crusty. And by the way, there's a reason I say that. And I sometimes sign off emails with keep it crusty or keep it gritty. Sometimes there's a reason for it. I'll talk about it one day. A buddy of mine said that he hears me say that. And he usually thinks of the crusty crab and SpongeBob. It's got nothing to do with that. I promise. Have a great day.